Okay, so that's all the bricklaying done now. And um, you can see that the timber support is in place. It's the right way up now. You can see the smooth uh, plywood that supports the archway uh, while I built the brick walls. Uh, and those walls go all the way down underground to the concrete slab. And in the middle there, you'll see the uh, wood that's going to support the concrete. On the other side, I've just filled in with uh, broken bricks and hardcore rubble and just compacted that down. That's just to, purely just to fill it in. And then on top of the, uh, the wood, obviously the first layer of concrete will go on and it'll support just resting on top of the, these brick walls that are six courses high and they go down to the concrete pad as well. Um, and I'll add some concrete reinforcing bars, some rebar, uh, into the mix. I've got a few of these, so I'll put them through as I lay it. And now I'll do a second course using that pig wire, chicken wire there sort of stuff. Um, it's got a sort of galvanised wire. It's just add a little bit of uh, extra strength to it. Not that you really need to, but I might as well have got it lying around. And then, um, well, the first layer is going to be about four inches deep, the first layer of concrete. Um, it should go to the top of the, the bricks at the top of the archway there. Um, and then the next layer will be about two or three inches. And then finally another inch or two of another a layer of concrete as well, just layering it up, going some extra strength. It's only a small amount though, uh, of the distance. And then what I want to do is add a load of soil uh, to just build up the levels. I put it on top of the bricks there on both sides and sort of smooth it over and try and get the levels uh, a bit smoother on both sides so you don't notice such a big hump in the middle. Uh, and it'll tie in both sides of the garden a bit better that way. got in the middle here three layers of concrete. The first layer is about two inches thick and it's got the rebar in it, so the, the rods of reinforced steel. Uh, and then I did another layer about two inches with pig wire in it. So it's like a mesh, but it's quite thick galvanized wire that's going to reinforce it as well. And on top I did, um, there's a cat coming through here, or Bonnie. Um, yeah, so on the top I've done another layer of about an inch and a half of, um, of three to one concrete, well, uh, mortar mix, and just put um, pea gravel on it. But what I really want to do now is get the levels so it's not too peaked in the middle. Um, so I'm going to just cover it with soil over the whole thing and put grass seed on it. And I want the lawn to basically just go straight through so I can just mow take the mower straight through it and it won't be too much of a lump in the middle. I think that'll look great in the part of the garden. So that's the next job. So I've just, I'm griddling all the um, soil. So take some stones and bits of uh, glass out of it and that's it. Remember the, the wooden structure it's like an upturned boat with loads of reinforcing in it. So that's holding all the everything in place. And now when the concrete, when I take this away, the concrete should hold itself up. If it doesn't, it'll just fall in. So that's what makes it exciting. So I'll take the legs away now. There's only four legs. And it might not even fall down easily, it might be stuck to the concrete. So who knows? We'll just find out. There we go. Okay, one leg. It, it, it fell off a bit then, the little uh, structure that's holding the bridge up. It fell down a bit. Oh, did it? Yeah. It got pushed down a bit. Okay. Two legs. Oh. Right, so there's nothing holding that now. Okay, look, if you get the camera in, you'll see there's actually nothing supporting it. It's just. Hanging in the air.